In this problem, we want to write a pair of decimal numbers as 8-bit signed twos complement numbers. Important concepts include signed binary numbers, the twos complement format, and binary weights. All right, let's take a look at the overall approach you would want to follow. We are given the decimal number and we want to convert it into 8-bit signed twos complement format. So let's see if we can unpack all those various words. Signed means that the value can be positive or negative. 8 bits means we have 8 binary weights. And when we are dealing with signed twos complement format, then the most significant weight, or the largest weight, also carries the negative sign. So we have a total of 8 weights. The most significant bit is negative, and the other weights are positive. Then it becomes our task to select those weights that are necessary to, to form the value of interest. So for example, if we're looking for a value 75, since it's positive, we do not want the negative weight. Now we do need 64 to contribute to the value 75. However, 32 would be too much and uh, you essentially continue until you find the weights that build up the number appropriately. Now let's move on to uh, actually working through the conversion for for the pair of numbers. So we put down eight binary weights. Since we're dealing with signed integers, we place a negative sign on the most significant bit. For 75, we need the value 70 or we need the value 64. Let's see how many weights remain. So we still need to build up the value 11. So we can do that with an 8 and a 3, which we could form as 2 plus 1. When all of those weights are added together, we get 75 base 10. Let's try it again for minus 87. In this case, the value is negative. So that means we have to select this weight minus 128. Now we need to figure out which of these positive weights we need to add in. Well, minus 128 plus some unknown value equals minus 87. Looks like x is then 128 minus 87, or the value 41. So we choose weights to build up the value 41. We don't need 64. We do need 32. Let's see how we're doing there. 41 minus 32 is 9. Looks like we need the 8 and the 1. And this 8-bit pattern then becomes the representation for negative 87 base 10. All right, real briefly, a review of the problem-solving approach. We first wrote the binary weights for an 8-bit signed number, realizing that the most significant bit is negative. We then selected weights that are necessary to sum to the given decimal value.